Punch a Crunch Army, where you had your motivation guy is back. And in this video, we're going to be rattling off as fast as we can over 30 crucial tips that everybody needs to know. From building to aim tips to plenty of helpful game knowledge, this video has something for everybody. All right, we can't stop. Let's get it going. All right, guys, here we go. So starting off, if you see an opponent behind your wall, you can edit a window, comb the top and bottom, and place walls all around the box them in quick and simple. Two, if you guys think your opponent will expand to a new box out to the side, place a cone and wall on that side. They'll either not go out that way anymore or they will and you can just simply edit to attack them. Okay, so if you have your back up against the wall in your box, you can ramp and it'll phase, allowing you to edit and shoot as if there's nothing there. So as long as you keep your back touching the wall, this is the X8 Classic and it's a reliable way to throw off opponents in sticky situations, all right? All right, guys, so one of the best ways to increase your editing speed is to minimize your crosshair movements when choosing edit tiles. Don't include longer unnecessary movements it takes practice but it's definitely necessary if you want to become a faster editor all right when you've got an opponent in your box and you can control the ramp only flip it if they are not looking at you otherwise they're gonna get their shot off first so in cases when they are it's better just to get out and edit your wall to create a right hand peek all right from above there are two ways to box opponents either place a cone and floor then edit through and place a cone and walls below or if you're ramp rushing and you get over your opponent you do the same but just with stairs instead of a cone at the start, all right? Build at least a two by one when you box up defensively sometimes even more. Not only will this provide you with more protection, but you can use the extra pieces to look for opportunities to edit on your opponent. So in season five, you can only upgrade weapons at these NPCs, at least currently, right? All are consistent spawns except the duplicates that you see. Those will spawn randomly at one of their locations, so they aren't as consistent, but it's still useful to memorize them all. When you have multiple players spraying at you, the the last thing that you want to do is just stand still and turbo build. For your best bet at survival, expand horizontally with hard mats, preferably with multiple layers of protection and toward natural cover if available. So walls are by far the most crucial pieces to control and build battles. So start practicing your high walls when building up. Not only is that more protection for you, but it will open up more opportunities for edit plays as well. So the practice portal in creative has some of the most popular maps to test your skills against other players like Zone War, 1v1s, and realistic solos. Play these as part of your warm-up and you're going to improve so much quicker. As for specific maps that are going to help you get good quick, two come to mind here. Raiders Peace Control Practice and Tito's Realistic Edits. Both of these are going to improve your practical editing skills by miles as long as you can just play them consistently. So during end games, a good rule of thumb is to rotate to the next zone early and that way you can set up positioning before others and hold enemies who are late to rotate into the storm. And Speaking of in-games, establishing a high ground for moving zones is so impactful toward getting the win. Like, this might seem obvious, but you would be surprised at how many players we see in arena entirely fail to ignore this thing. Just make sure you don't build too high so getting knocked isn't a threat. And remember to drop if you start running out of mats. So before we get any further, all right, leave a comment telling us your favorite drop spot and something most people might not know about it. Who knows? You might help some people out. We are a family. Come on. Moving on. We all know the Dragon Shotgun, Fire fireflies and a couple of other things can ignite wooden builds but little known fact chug splashes extinguish fires a helpful tip if you ever find yourself ablaze all right for the first three zones position near the center for the best chance of getting favored for the next and for zone four your best bet is to set up on the edge and just gamble you know ending up inside the upcoming fifth zone by the way this fourth zone rule only applies to competitive modes if you're trying to avoid fights you need to figure out where the dead sides of the zone are so that you can just rotate through them. These are the sides that don't have many players rotating through them, so typically in between major POIs and edges of the map. Some of the best landing spots are those with natural shields, mushrooms, and slurpy and weeping, slurp kegs and craggy, and, and the shark. And don't forget about produce boxes, which can be found in many locations. Gain shields off of these, and it can really conserve your potions for later in the game. Alright, whenever you're expecting an enemy to peek at close ranges like in box fights, try to keep your crosshair leveled at head height. This is called good crosshair placement. And at times when utilized, man, you barely have to move your crosshair to land a shot. All right, so with how quick they are to pop, floppers and slurfish are the best mid-fight healing items, guys. If you lose more fights than you like, consider landing somewhere with many fishing spots or ice freezers like Sweaty Sands or the Unremarkable Shack. So you can just use these OP fish to your advantage. One of the easiest ways to land snipes is to wait until your opponent jumps, all right? And then use their predictable trajectory to just land up a shot. 
takes practice and more practice and more practice, but it sure beats missing your shot and giving away your position, right? And just as a reminder, if you're looking for a pro coach to help you guys improve, you got to check out our website. I always say it all the time, but it means it must be helping a lot of people out. So you got to do it. We make it easy for you guys really just to connect with the pros, including several World Cup qualifiers who can help awaken your potential like super fast. So check it out and plenty more today over on ProGuys.com. All right. So when you go to pickaxe walls, it's usually better to attack from the left side since you're on a safer tile where you can just place a perpendicular wall for protection and you can just create a right hand peak once you take your opponent's wall. You know, right hand peaks are very instrumental. So try to avoid pushing opponents who hold on you, right? It's not always a death sentence, but the disadvantage is definitely significant. You shouldn't only ever use your pickaxe to take builds. Spray weapons and even shotguns can sometimes be more effective. Not only will some players not even realize you're taking their wall, but if your opponent tries to edit on you, you're going to have a weapon out ready to shoot. And at the same time, though, don't keep trying for the same piece over and over. Switch up, you know, where you attack from, you know, which pieces you 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 pressure and try to be unpredictable so your opponent can as easily keep track of what you're doing. Every time you eliminate an opponent inside their box, expand out into a new box before looting. How come? Good question. You might get third party while looting or drinking shields. And you definitely don't want to be in a box you can't edit out of. All right, when someone is trying to take your wall, always build protection, either a ramp, a cone, you know, you edit or a backwards ramp that you can place by turning around real quick. And from there, you ideally want to expand out. If you haven't already, guys, turn on sprint by default, auto open doors and disable pre-edit option. All great quality of life settings that we think every player should do. And when you feel like you're not sure, like what you could have done better in a fight, analyze your replays. It may take a few watches, but you'll start to become more conscious of your mistakes as well as as enemy blunders so you can capitalize on it. So in farming match, you need to consider where you're going to acquire metal and brick. Wood is super easy to find, but you need hard mats, right? Not only for end games, but for when you get into fights as well. Pros like Booga always swap hard mats for fights because the higher health can make a huge difference. And for the most part, guys, it's just better to stay outside your opponent's bills during a fight. Remember, peace control is huge, so if you don't get the LM and the edit out, you might just be left in a really, really lousy spot. Ruckus is a hostile NPC that you can find at the damn east of Slurpee. Eliminate him for a GOAT AK and purple rocket launcher, the only RPG in Season 5, making it an excellent spot to contest for some busted weaponry. And as for why you want the RPG, if you see an opponent standing behind their builds, rock it, then fire your shotgun as soon as it hits. This sneaks in a free shot and is best done with the charge since you could just charge up as the rocket flies in. You know, one of the best NPCs in Season 5 is Brutus at Dirty Docks, who sells great weapons, can upgrade, and can also be dueled for a purple SMG. This makes Dirty Docks low-key like one of the best drop spots in the entire game for getting consistently strong loot. Ooh, all right, how'd I do on time? About eight minutes. Eight minutes? I'm not gonna do it faster. All right, whatever. Hey, you know what? Let us know what you guys thought about this video. We wanna do something a little different. And if you guys liked the video, you already know what to do. Leave that like, subscribe to the channel. Bunch of Crunch Army. Once again, I'm your motivation guy. Connect me on my Instagram at your motivation guy. Hey, keep grinding. I'll see you soon.